My name's Scenery Slater, and uh, I have had treatment for breast cancer. Um, I call it lather, rinse, repeat. I had surgery, chemo, and radiation. Um, it all went really well. Um, however, I did experience uh, what is called chemo brain. Uh, sometimes after chemotherapy, people report problems in their ability to concentrate, think, and learn new information, and it's been called chemo brain. I thought I was going crazy. Uh, I, things would happen, like I would, I live in a small apartment building. I went down to get the mail one day, I got back into the elevator, and I'd forgotten what floor I lived in. And uh, the more I thought about it, the more I panicked, and the, and the less sure I was about what floor I lived on. Right now, there's no real treatment for chemo brain. Typically, there's only coping strategies. So you learn how to make lists and put sticky notes everywhere. But one thing that may be really beneficial may be exercise. So exercise has improved cognitive function in older adults, and so now we're testing it whether it might help with cognitive changes in individuals who've had cancer treatment. Currently, the study's ongoing. We're still recruiting participants to the trial. Uh, we're looking for women who are 40 to 65 years of age, have had chemotherapy as part of their breast cancer treatment, and are reporting some of these cognitive changes. There was uh, aerobic activity on a regular basis. Um, it was something that, you know, I certainly had uh, physical activity in my life before, but not on such a regular, structured basis. We'd uh, do aerobic activity, which uh, I used an elliptical trainer, a uh, treadmill, very much uh, looking at you know your health, your well-being, and not pushing yourself too far to make yourself sore, ill, or whatever. We haven't looked at any of the results yet. Everyone wants to know what the intermediate results are, but we haven't looked yet. We're going to do that once we complete the treatment. But overall, we're really excited about the potential of exercise, so we're hopeful that we'll show a clear benefit from the study. Uh, I used to donate blood before I had cancer, and I can't do that anymore, so I feel privileged to be able to uh, participate in a study like this that's going to help someone at some point down the road.